All right, welcome back and welcome to the first exercise in MasterCam XA video training in solids. Okay, in this exercise, I'm going to be showing you an introductory to the first exercise as well as all the exercises that are going to be coming up in this DVD. So before you begin anything, please open up your exercise folder that is located in your DVD and you're going to see an exercise one folder. So for every exercise, there's going to be a folder specifically for all the saved documents that I have left in you. Those documents include all the models in MasterCam X8 demo. Okay, this is the demo version. It's a home learning edition. So you can only open up everything you I made and that you see in this DVD in the home learning edition. So you can open that and install that at home and on as many computers as you like. Also, I have included the drawings that you're going to be modeling over here as well. The drawings included are both done in SOLIDWORKS and also save them in PDF. You need to have SOLIDWORKS 2015 or above to be able to open that. Um, if you do not have SOLIDWORKS 2015, please uh, print it out as a PDF file. It's already saved for you as a PDF file. If you're not familiar with PDF files, please go to Adobe Acrobat or Adobe.com and download their reader. Okay, their reader is free to download online and you can open up all the drawings. If you open, up, open it up in the reader, it will look just like this. This is going to be your first exercise in MasterCam X8 Solids. It is a very simple exercise, but I wanted to go through it. And there's a lot of features over here that I want to go through in the first exercise. It's going to be called exercise number one. And you can print that out. This is, this is again, this is a opened up in Adobe Acrobat Reader. Okay, so this is the first exercise. Uh, first thing, if you do not know much about drawings, I definitely recommend to take a class to really read drawings, although I will go over them a little bit. Now, something to remember in this DVD, and the reason why I made this video tutorial is because I really wanted people to learn real-life drawings and real-life basis, not just feature-based training. I do not like feature-based training. If you're just learning how to use a feature, that doesn't necessarily teach you the right ways or the whens of when to use that feature, and that's why I made this DVD. Now, again, this is solids, so everything you're going to be learning in this DVD will be strictly creating solids and not machining. If you're looking for the machining, please look for our mill or lathe or multi-axis. Those will teach you the machining, okay? So, let's, let's get started. So, this is going to be our part. This is a drawing. This is going to be the top view of the drawing. This is going to be the front view of the drawing and the side view of the drawing. Okay, this is an isometric view, so you kind of get a feel of how the drawing or how the model looks like and how it should like, look like after we're done uh, designing it into MasterCam. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do is kind of get a feel of or really know the outer boundaries or the outer geometries of my entire block. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So for example, I want to know the length of this, the width of this, and the thickness of it. Okay, so I need to know the X, Y, and Z limits of my entire block so I can get started on creating the geometry for it. So if I come down here, you're going to notice that the block is 8 inches in length. It's going to be 2 inches in thickness. This is the thickness of it. And it's going to be 4 inches in width. So literally, it's going to be 8 by 4 by 2 inches. Okay, so that's the main thing that we're going to be getting started by making a block that is like that. Okay. Now, the first exercise in the first video, I really want to concentrate on drawing the first geometry, which is going to be an entire the entire top view. I like drawing the entire top view because I can extrude, uh, extrude boss and extrude cut everything from there to create my solids very easily. If I have my entire top geometry made, which is going to be the most involved geometry, I can then create my solids very easy from there. Okay. So in our next session, we're going to get started by creating the top geometry, which is going to be this entire top geometry. And then we'll be going step by step and creating all of these. And there's a reason why I started the dimensioning from here, this corner being 0, 0. And I will show you why in our next session. And here it goes up in the X axis. And then it goes up over here in the Y axis. And the depth is always going to be our Z axis in MasterCam. And I'll show you why later. So let's get started. The next video will get started by drawing the top view geometry for exercise number one. 